What's up all you Chevy Express fans on YouTube.com? My name's Chad with Charleston Car Videos. You know, a few months ago I saw some interest with y'all online taking a look at my Chevy Express video. And you know, y'all gave me your comments, what you thought about this vehicle and how you thought it compared to the other work vans out there, like the Ford Transit and stuff like that. And some of y'all said, you know what, Chevy needs to do an upgrade on this, tr on this van because it's just been a long time and it's really looked the same. So anyways, I get to the store today and I'm looking around I'm like, man, they got a bunch of these things out here. Why not film them for some of y'all and let you take a look at them? So anyways, let's get the ball rolling. So, you know, again, of course, you got your traditional lights right here that go back to even when I had my first car, a 1989 Honda Accord, it had these halogen kind of lights like that in there, right? GE makes them, as you can see, and the Chevy is still supporting that old school light on their express van. So I could tell you though, you know, let me, first of all, that light right there, some of y'all say, man, why don't they got those new cool ones and the Xenons and all those things like the other brands do? Well, one thing, you know, you think about a business person's buying one of these express vans for their business, right? Whether they're a catering company or a delivery company or whatever it is. Well, bills get high when you own a business, right? <laughs> sure they do. All the bills keep coming in every month. And uh, what I can tell you is that to support Chevy's deal with that right there is that maybe they put that in here because the cost of this light compared to some of those newer light bulbs maybe it's better maybe the cost is lower on a light bulb like that okay that's just something to think about right let me know in the comments what do y'all think we can go online on Amazon or on, on Pet Boys or AutoZone and see what the difference pricing is on that I'm curious I may do that myself and comment it on the video so there's one thing that's gonna save you money supposedly from what I'm thinking right now now we do got a bunch of these out here right here's another thing to think about why they haven't done a lot of upgrades well maybe they didn't want to upgrade the wheels because that's a really good size right there think about it that's a 245 75 series tire by Bridgestone and just your regular steel wheel right that's a good tire size they sell a bunch of them out there in the marketplace if they put bigger rims on these things it's going to cost more for tires, so that might be a reason why they keep that si tire size on there. And I could think that maybe it's because it's a big fat tire and the ride quality is better, okay? Your ride quality is better. You got all that stuff in the rear. You don't want to be bumping around all day long, right? Let's take a look in the back. Again, hasn't changed a whole lot, has it? It really hasn't. Another thing I can mention, you know, it's just a good body design, okay? I mean, what, what do you need out of a, uh, a work van? I mean, this thing's big. Look at all the room inside these vehicles, folks. I don't know if this one's unlocked or not. I don't have any keys to these things right now, but, but I can tell you, the back doors, if you watch my other video, open up nice and wide. And then you got your, uh, your load inside over here, too. So that's nice, okay? Again, Chevrolet says, you know what? We've been selling these express vans for forever now. And uh, why change it up a whole lot when, uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So that might be the logic behind that. Again, all these things are locked up. One thing I can tell you that they do out here, they go, no dealer add-ons. Such as rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, closing, or dog fees, etc. Some items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to the selling dealer. Beware. That's right, beware. That's what I can tell you, folks. That's why a lot of people do business with old Marchant Chevy out here is because they realize that, you know, people don't want all those extra things on the cars all the time. It just adds up the price. Now, now that we looked at these over here, which before we get rolling over there, I want to look at something. Where is the window stickers? Let's see what year this is because I went and spoke ahead of my time. That's 2017. Look at this. 2017 Express 2500 work van, right? Okay, let's look at that. Now, I'm walking down here and I'm not even realizing they do have it with the front end. So this is your rebody, I guess this is like the, the new front end, right? Those are 2017s. What is different? Well, look at that. No more of that over there, which looks a little bit nicer, don't it? So not a whole lot of differences, but let's keep walking around. Look, so those are all 2017s. Could this be a 2018 already released in 2017? I don't know. I'm looking for a window sticker. One thing I noticed, uh, wheels are the same. Rear end is exactly the same. 
no difference there. All I can think is that this is just a little bit of an upgrade on the inside. And they give you the upgraded front end. There's no window stickers on the car, so I can't really see. But we're going to do some research. Make sure you comment on the video. Let me know what is the difference in these with the new front end in a 2017 and those down there that are 2017s. I don't know. I'm going to find out when I get off the camera here in a second. But let me know what you think and let me know what you find out and I'll let you know what I find out. How about it? So anyways, if you enjoy looking at this video, hit the subscribe button. My YouTube channel has grown a lot over the last few months. It's been online since 2011, 2011, and, uh, but I'm pushing out videos every single day on here. So I'm trying to get subscribers. Give me a hand, folks. Hit the like button. That'll help me rank a little better. And if you can subscribe and, and you actually enjoy watching car videos and cars that are for sale and just all the kind of things I do with the car dealerships and car meets, then hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to cultivate something here and I need some of y'all's help and it's just a click of a button to hit subscribe but if you're not interested in, in watching a video each week or every couple days or whatever then don't subscribe but if you can subscribe hey that would be awesome let me know in the comments if you subscribed I really would appreciate it have a good one folks now it's on to the Silverados so I'll do a video about the new 2017 Silverado here in just a few minutes